So I'm kind of a sucker for Nixie tubes. So I pulled out the old electronic counter here and just uh, play with it for a little bit and blow the dust off the thing and just give it a try. And real quick demo here on uh, what some of the functions are on the front of these. Um, your sample rate here basically uh, sets it so how long it displays uh, the results to you. So if I turn that way down, you'll see you can barely, you can't read it really. You've got to give it a bit more of a delay to let it display what it's actually done, what it's read. And uh, we'll turn that up a tiny bit. And over here we have the, the actual frequency. You see I'm, I'm pumping 10 kilohertz into it right now. And uh, it's pretty accurate. I mean, I've, I've taken it apart and realigned the, um, the crystal that's inside the guy. It's got a 1 megahertz Belialy. And uh, you can see 10 kilohertz showing up there. Now, if I want a bit more accuracy, I can turn the time base so it takes and counts for uh, 10 seconds longer. So 10 seconds, actually, sorry, 10 seconds total. And uh, it'll give us that extra decimal place over there on the end. And uh, we can see just how kind of accurate this thing is. Uh, often the first one, you got to throw that first measurement out because you're doing switching at the time. Let the instrument settle and uh, it'll come up with a better, better number. So there we are right there. Another cool feature on this little guy is it takes and averages a bunch of periods. So that's a 10 megahertz or 10 kilohertz square wave coming into it. So we can see here microseconds. So each square wave is a hundred microseconds long. 100 microseconds times 10,000 gives you one second. So kind of a cool little function.